I wanted to show you how to make a rug uh, using yarn and you know a few things I'll just so, show you the basics uh, this is something I have been doing for a while and I love it because I can be able to customize my own personal mats for my house and sometimes I do them for clients so anyway if you're also interested Hello at me and so uh, what you need to make a mat as you can see I actually have a uh, already made mat here it's almost complete this was done a while back by uh, a student I was showing how to to actually make so I told them to choose a pattern that they wanted but this is how it looks and yeah I just wanted to show you how to go about that so uh, what you need for this project, you you need scissors and uh, you need a crochet. Uh, of course, you need your yarn, depending on the colors you want to, you know, mix. So for me, I have gray, I think this is a cream, and then there's black. And then you, of course, need the tapestry. So this is how the tapestry looks like. And if you're in Kenya, you can easily get these on Biashara Street in Nairobi or on River Road. Yeah, in Akuru, there are shops also that offer these. And yeah, and also even in Kakamega, I've been to those different towns and there's shops shops that usually sell yarn. They also kind of, they stock this uh, type of tapestry. And you also need a marker pen in case you needed to do a pattern. Uh, for me, I don't have a marker pen today, so I'm using this eyeliner <laughs> to show you how to do that. And there's this. Uh, this one, I have this. Uh, it's wooden. It's very, very old. I bought this in 2016. You can see it has had, uh, it has had good days and bad days. Uh, but you can also get these ones from shops that sell the tapestry. And you use this one to cut the yarn or to help you have equal sizes of the yarn and yeah so uh, we will get started and I'll show you of course so he, as I said you could do names of people or patterns that you wish so for example if this is your tapestry you just decide what do you want to maybe to write on your whatever on your rug and in this case for me if you are to follow the if you were to follow the pattern this student used so you could just probably now as I said you can use a marker pen so if you're using this we could say for this one they used they had um, they colored uh, the, on the side it's a uh, oh wow it has broken okay let's see I have to be gentle so uh, they have uh, gray on the edges so you could just come and do that I don't know whether you can see but I'm really trying to like just you know do the pattern there and then for example if they wanted to do like say black so it's for, it's up to you to decide how you want your pattern to look like but this uh, pen or marker pen or whatever you're using should just kind of give you like an outline where do you put your uh, yarn if it's white if it's uh, black if it's gray you decide where you want that to go so for example if I wanted to start with this would be my black and maybe I give it a bit more space and I draw I draw what I want uh, down here and maybe in between as you can see with this mat it's it's black then there's a bit of gray to separate the other colors uh, so I could do something like that for another this could be yeah and also the tapestry the way it is i don't know whether you can see but it has like holes so you can those holes you could actually even count them and see how many you need for each pattern and as i said you could draw flowers you could draw names of people you could definitely customize it into what you want but that that's how you would definitely do something like this pattern so let me see one two three four five six seven and then i could count another like one two three four five six seven and maybe come do the same down here and just draw the pattern i'm randomly doing this because i'm not gonna use this tapestry today because this is supposed to just be a short demonstration of how to go about it 
but yeah in this case if i was to do this the same pattern the student did this is what i would definitely have and i could have the one color on these parts and now the different colors on the boxes so uh so there's this one the another student had also started they were supposed to just fill in i'll use this i'll use this this because as you can see they had already put in the gray the black and now the only color that was remaining was the cream so i'll i'll show you how to cut the yarn and then how you knit that so uh using this wooden thing it could also be plastic I'll, I'll get a plastic one and i'll show you how that works but as you can see there is a space in between here this space allows you to cut the yarn and as i said it helps you like get equal sizes of yarn so what you do you just uh roll your yarn over uh onto this wooden or oh, the plastic thing if you have it i'll try and do maybe a diy on how to make this for yourself at home some people use uh their hands to cut the yarn uh, but sometimes the problem with that is that you don't get like equal sizes of yarn so when you're done with making your rug you have to start uh, equalizing the yarn because either sometimes some parts are a bit longer and all that but this type of you know using something like this kind of gives you a very good finish and you don't lose out on a lot of yarn unnecessarily yeah so i would recommend you when you if you wanted to start this uh, uh you know making rugs you could definitely you should definitely get something to help with that so with these once you have this done then you can come with your scissors and as i said there's the there's, there's something that's separating the two sides of the wooden whatever i don't know what to call it and then you just cut through and make sure you're holding on to the to both sides so that the yarn doesn't like um stretch out so um oh wow my scissors are so blunt uh, but this is how you go about it. So we've cut the one side then you can hold like this and So that it doesn't move and then now you have the other side. Oops. I hope it hasn't moved You have the other side that is free and then you still do the same uh, You come and cut the same thing Through the other side uh, Let's see oh, I definitely need to get uh, new scissors for such projects because these ones they have no whatever so as you can see my yarn is not so bad it, it kind of feels like it's almost the same size so just try to hold on to it so that it's a uh, you get like a bit of consistency with that and then uh this is the type of crochet i have i have different ones but for today i'm using this so if for example now we want to knit this uh this part so what you do you come uh, take this yarn and fold it into two like this okay so you have something like that okay and then from there you just uh insert let me, I, let, me let me do this let me use actually this uh whatever let me use this one so that it's easy for you to see what i'm doing so if this is the top you just come and put your crochet on this side and then you put your yarn over that uh, you do that you do this and you pull through and then uh you do you you again this you go to the next one but it's because once you put your crochet over here you will then go uh, on to this other side so you could do that actually it's better to do it from the top and then you just uh, pull through and fold this onto there and you can do that and pull through I'm not sure whether you're able to see this clearly but we already have something coming along and yeah definitely this is how you go about it so you skip this this one then you go to this one 
and now my eyeliner is actually making this <laughs> It's messing up the yarn and dirtifying um, it or something of the sort. So, but this is what you get. So, you take your yarn, you fold it, you fold it into two, hold on to it like that so that it doesn't move because you want to also have an equal finish. And then you do this and you pass th your yarn through that and then you pull through and you do this and then with this crochet i love it because it has it kind of has something here that helps with the grip i don't know whether you're able to see this uh yeah but there's a kameto somewhere so you just take your yarn again you you put it on the you leave the first hole and then you go to the second one and then you just uh, push your crochet uh, put the string through and then automatically pull on the other side then you come like you know do that and this uh, grips the other the yarn and kind of goes through like that yeah so that's how you do it until you fill in all the holes that you need to so you put that through like that, you pull it, and then you do that. And you tighten that, so that's what we have. Anyway, thanks uh, for watching this video. I hope you are able to learn something. I'll show you how to, to do the edges in a different video, but definitely now this is how you do it. And once you are done, this is what you will get.